Today we're gonna talk about interviews, but first let me change into something a bit more, you know, YouTube appropriate. Whoa, that was fast. Hmm, and this is a bit more appropriate. Now we can start a video. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. For those who don't know me, my name is Dennis and today I want to highlight what businesses are looking for when hiring a product designer or a UX designer or any designer for that matter. UI, UX, hybrid product and all of those names that we give to designers that pretty much do the same thing, they design. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, I have more than 10 years of experience as a designer and as a business owner. And I'm not telling you this to brag, but over the years I've noticed a few things that businesses need and that I also look for when hiring designers, whether they are full-time or freelancers. In the last year of my career, before I started my own agency, I used to be a freelancer or a contractor and the interview process kept repeating every three to six months. So here are two golden things I've noticed and I want to share with you and maybe it will help you in your next interview. Also, if you wait till the end of the list, I will tell you what to do and what not to do in an interview. Let's start with one of my favorites, problem solving mentality. The latest interview reflects this aspect as most employees start with a problem and ask the interviewee to solve it. For example, they start by describing a business. Let's say that it's a car park and they get loads of customers in because of the location, but people are super frustrated with how the payment is being processed on the machines. So let's say that the machines are old, some of them only accept cash, they also turn off halfway through the payment process. So the business decides to build an app to solve this problem. Problem. Now the employer is going to probably ask you, you, the designer who's interviewing for this job, what is the most important feature that this app needs to have? And what do you do now? Here my friends is the difference between make it or break it. If you start talking about what you think these features should be based on your experience and so on, unfortunately you're one foot out of the door. The key here is to ask questions. You never assume, you always ask questions. Things like, is parking here expensive or not? What is the location? What drivers come through? If we don't know this, can we track it for a week just to see who our target audience is? Based on these answers, you can say if the app needs to be super simple and easy to use because a lot of elderly people come here, or you can probably create a super complex app where you can choose parking spots in advance, a pay and monthly pass and so on. Ask some questions that are more important. Try to narrow it down. Don't ask too many as it will seem that you don't have the grasp of the problem at all and you're just rumbling about. At the end, if you want to provide a personal touch, you can then give your opinion based on your experience if that applies. Or if you've seen a very good movie and you're a very good liar, why not? It shows some creativity on the spot under pressure. I'm joking, you should never lie at an interview, especially if you're starting out and you don't have any experience and they ask you if you have experience. Never. Moving on to the second advice on the list, attention to details. This has to be on your strengths when they ask you, if not maybe even on your weaknesses. You know how some people say, oh, I'm too organized and this might not be that okay for my colleagues sometimes as they might hate me and stuff. Yeah, some people do that. Try to discuss about a project where your attention to detail helped you or a scenario. Don't just say, I have attention to detail, because that doesn't mean anything. Give an example. Like for example, you always triple check your design before handing them over to the developers. And this saves you a lot of time on the backwards and forwards between yourself and the dev team. In any job out there, people are looking for attention to details. You must have something between none and too much. No, you cannot waste too much time and money double, triple checking your stuff. You need to be precise on your detailing, you know? Now let's get into the do's and don'ts of interviewing for a UX UI designer position. What to do in an interview? Ask questions. Make your weaknesses sound like it's a good thing, my organization example that I gave before. Say that you're a team player and you love working as part of the team. The next one is you cope well with stress, but not with continuous stress. It's, come on, it's 2021. It's no more grind business. We all need to stay away from burnout. Ask questions about the company and how they see you fit inside the team. 
do your research beforehand. You should say that you work smarter and harder than anyone else and you learn super fast and based on this interview you think you will be an amazing addition to their dream team. So bam, you are amazing, they are amazing and compliments are flying around and you get the job. Now what not to do in an interview? Don't ask too many questions. Don't discuss about your worst projects without mentioning a brilliant solution you came up with whilst under the stress of this bad project. We know you don't like people and you prefer to work alone, but we don't want to hear it. So don't say it. Ever. Don't, don't ever say it. Don't rumble on and on about anything if they ask you about a solution to a problem. Don't rumble. Just know when to stop. If they ask you to discuss about your past projects, don't talk about all your past projects, just a couple of them, it's gonna be enough. You get the gist, make it short so you can get straight to the point. And lastly, don't go to an interview unprepared, just Google the company. Go to their team page and look at the team, see who's working there, see what they're doing. Just prepare before you go to the interview. This is all for today, good luck with the interview, I hope this helps, let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these tips and if they actually worked, and also if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I'm getting closer to that 1000 mark, thank you guys, fingers crossed, and as always I will see you in the next video, take care.